Scorpio, welcome into your money and career reading for September 2023. We are going to be looking at what we need to know at this time with regards to your money, your finances, and even what could be happening in your business or your, or your workplace. So let's get started. Spirit guides for my wonderful Scorpios, please come into my spirit room. Thank you so much for being here, Scorpio. Please show me clearly what it is that I need to be seeing and speak to me clearly what it is that I need to be hearing. For the highest good for all my Scorpios out there. Scorpio, thank you so much for being here. If it is your first time here, welcome. My name is Deborah. If this is your second time, your third time, thank you so much for being here and supporting the channel. It means so much to me. If you do get any anything from this reading and it really helps you, please do hit that thumbs up button as that would help the growth of my channel as well. Thank you so much. So let's get started. Observe. What are you observing? What are you observing? What is going on with this observed energy? Spirit God said, take it and have a look. So I want to see what is this about for you in this energy. What are you paying attention to? What are you looking at? What are you observing? What are you really um, seeing as, is it your career that's unfolding? Are you trying to see how something is going to unfold for you? Or are you watching something? Let's find out what's going on. What an interesting message to come up for a career reading. Observing, paying attention. Hmm. To what? To what are you observing? The Six of Cups. The Three of Cups. The Four of Wands. And the Three of Swords. There is somebody or something that is not maturing. And that's causing you a lot of problems. With the Six of Cups energy, I feel like this is immaturity in some kind of way. I don't know if this is a person that you're working with that's very maybe younger than you or just not mature enough or immature in some kind of way. They are causing a lot of drama, a lot of drama. This can also be something that is not growing, something that is not moving, something that is not having this change that you wanted to see. And I feel there's duality going on in this reading, especially with that observing energy. I feel like there could be two either groups of people or two areas of your life in some kind of way. One is good, I can see, and the other one is not so good. So you might be having good things going on in your career and money is not doing well. Or you might be having your money flowing well, but there's just way too much drama in your career. Take what resonates with you. This is the energy of that negative kind of thing. Something is not really <coughs> going the way that you want it to go. On the other side again, okay, is that something is going the way that you want it to go. There's a shift here. There's a lot of celebration here. So you might have gotten a new job. You might have gotten a promotion. Um, but there's a real duality in this reading. Complete duality. It's literally so interesting. There is some kind of a new beginning that took place here or a change. It was something that you really celebrated. So you might even just the scenario that I'm picking up on, but it may not be yours. It's just an example. Say you're working in a big company. Um, you have many people in your office or whatever you are doing. And um, there's a group of people here that you really get along with. You guys are, are the same kind of people. You know how to laugh. You know how to have fun. You cooperate very, very well together. It's the group energy. And then there could be another part of it. There could be a boss. There could be a person. There could be something going on here where this person is just through your swords and immature. And they cause a lot of drama, especially with regards to um, betrayal, even um, even causing fights among people. Okay, this is interesting. So you are watching this kind of situation. I'm finding that very interesting. This could be a very, even a complete separate message from the rest of the reading. So I'm going to take out the rest of the cards and I might take out some more for this energy. What are you observing? Imagine you're the boss, okay, and you've got these employees and they're doing all these things. Oof. That can be quite hard. So let's have a look and see what's coming in here. We've got 
it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Okay? Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as a blessing to the world. Something is coming in here. Get ready to receive something. It's going to help other people as well. Maybe your family, your free, maybe even friends, um, your children, your own life here. So this is very good. I also have a feeling whatever business you're in, it is going to a stage where it's going to be doing very, very well. So I feel very happy about that. If you have a business or even if you are employed, um, it's going to go into a stage of things doing very, very well. Okay, that card got my attention. So I'm going with it. And we have got, okay, Malchizedek. Malchizedek. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If that is something that you know how to speak, apologies to me. Malchizedek. Okay, it is right. Higher learning. You have learned from experience. More in a study is now required for further progress. So you may have to improve your skills in some kind of way. This is a very interesting reading. I really believe you've got separate messages for each part of this reading. I'm going to take another card out for this one. Okay. I, I do feel like there's drama. Okay. Where you are working with regards to people. And if you have a business and you're self-employed, it can be clients as well that are just, some of them are amazing. And then there's one client. Whew, my goodness. Okay. So let's come in here. Let's get some, let's take these two cards that are falling. What's going to happen here? Trust the wheel turning. The wheel is going to take control of the situation. Fate is coming in to solve a problem. And the nine of wands comes in here saying, Distance yourself from whomever this is representing, okay? Close yourself off and keep yourself only open to those you can trust, those that you feel celebrated with and that you can align with in energy. And whatever is going to happen here, yeah, it's going to happen. It is going to happen. The wheel is going to turn. Wheel of fortune. So just observe, wait and see what is going to happen. It looks to me like somebody is going to get their comeuppance with regards to their behavior. Okay, so now I'm going to reshuffle for you again. Please show me the next two cards. It is safe for you to receive. So you're about to receive something. And also they are speaking about your skill improving or maybe even going back to study or learn or improve your um, education in some kind of way it's never a waste it is absolutely never a waste go back and study and um, do what you need to do <clears throat> let's have a look and see something is coming page of cups you have been waiting for this you've been waiting for this to come it's two areas of your life are going to be affected we've got two pages coming in and we've got a knight of wands coming in here um, this is definitely work related. I nearly said night of works. Okay. Um, you got a page of cups. So this is going to make you very, very happy. You got a page of wands. It's going to inspire you because you're moving into the page, the night of wands. So this is very exciting. Whatever this is, it's exciting. I think it's long overdue. You could be getting promoted. You could be getting moving in a new direction in your work or your career or your business. It's so exciting. It is so exciting. It's coming in here. It's definitely, without a doubt, going to make you happy. And I feel like, first of all, it could be because of this um, wisdom that you carry. Um, it could be because of your knowledge or your skill that you are carrying with you with the Hermit card. The Hermit card talks about your wisdom, understanding, growth, you know. And it's also, I feel, because the Hermit card is also associated to stagnancy, or been stuck or nothing really happening, pause, like a pause moment. So I feel like this blessing coming in, it's really overdue with the Hermit card being there. We do have Virgo in your reading. And I feel as if it's something that you yourself have been waiting to see for a very long time. Look at the staircase there, going among that among these cliffs that are there. So it looks to me like you're, what you're waiting for is to get a promotion. Um, get leveled up or get a very big, uh, your business getting improved. So let's get into higher learning. Five of Wands. 
the Fool card. Definitely a new start. Money. Hello. Scorpio. And the Devil card. There is a leveling up happening here. For some of you guys, honestly, this can be a promotion. It can truly be a promotion. I do see coming with this promotion. There could be you needing to learn something new. Because I can see it here with the Five of Wands energy. The Five of Wands is figuring something out. So you may be given some new um, responsibilities that you are never had before. Um, you may be having to go and take a course or go through some kind of like um, course that they're going to put you in to work so that you can understand how to do this new position that you have been given, the full card. So I feel like there's some kind of knowledge or skill or something that you need to learn to move into this. And I see it's very, very good, okay? Because here comes the money, kaboom. Okay, there it is. There's your promotion. There's your pay rates. That is what you're looking for. And this is an offer coming into you with Capricorn's energy. Stability offer coming up next to this energy. Look how this, look, it's such a handsome man. Holy moly. I have a thing for men with long hair. I just don't know why. But anyway, um, it's like literally he's offering you this. He's offering you this nine of pentacles. It can be you getting the offer of a promotion. The devil energy is associated with <clears throat> your existence on this earth. It's associated with how you live here. It can be very negative because people can be living in the devil energy of addictions, um, lack of money, poverty, stress, anxiety, chaos. Or you can be living in growth, happiness, um, financial stability, your home is strong, uh, the car you drive doesn't break down on the side of the road, you see the devil card. You are being offered a change that's going to improve your finances here. I do feel like you are going to be learning something or learning something new, but go for it. Do it. You'll figure it out. You already have the knowledge inside of you. you know, you're know you going to be able to handle it very easy. This is going to be very exciting. There we go, Scorpio. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Exactly. I love this reading. And understand this. Just watch this. Don't do anything. Just protect yourself from the situation. Keep yourself away from that person, or whatever that is, and watch the wheel turn. Okay? It's going to turn in your favor, as you can see. So definitely beautiful. Congratulations if this is a promotion for you. Congratulations. You so deserve it. I'm sending my love to you guys. I will see you in your next week's reading. Bye.